Hey guys, today is my first binge recovery diary and so I started this Monday and today we're Thursday so I'm on day four and I just want to update you guys on how it's been going. So if you guys haven't noticed, I got a haircut Monday and at first I hated it because the way it was styled, it like curved inside and I really don't like that look on me personally so I kind of hated it but then when I like styled it myself, I kind of learned to like love it and I just like have a lot of different ways that I can style it which I love I can like part it in the middle or on the other side and it just looks like a completely different look right now I haven't done anything with my hair I literally showered last night and this is what my hair looks like and I'm kind of just embracing the natural look today it's like a little wavy in the back and as you guys can see like I just have like a little bob going on and it's just like really really short in the back but I actually really like it. So I think one of the biggest lessons and things that I need to focus on to recover from binge eating is focusing on the bigger picture and realizing that this is not just about myself but focusing on others as well. I feel like I focused on myself for like four years and just like bettering myself and just learning to love who I am and that and I just really need to focus on giving out to others because that's what makes me truly happy and realize that it's more than like how I look and all those things and it's about what I have to like offer to this world and the love I can give others not only the love I can receive so the other night, I think it was Sunday, and I was feeling super down, and I was kind of pitying myself in the way that I was like, why is this happening to me? Like, why can't I get over this? I feel like everything happens for a reason, and I just needed to know that reason, and that itself just really helped me realize why I'm in this situation. And so I commented on Lexis's channel and I'll link her in the down bar because I really like her channel. She's super real and she's just amazing and she's also struggled with binge eating so I commented on her latest video I think and I asked her how she dealt with weight gain from binge eating and I told her as someone that's studying to be a nutritionist and a personal trainer I just found it hard to believe that clients would actually take my advice since I'm like gaining weight and like binging and stuff and so she wrote me back a really sweet paragraph and she made me realize and I'm getting emotional right now because it really hit me hard but what she said is that these particular clients that are gonna hire me I'm gonna be able to relate to them and because I went through binge eating clients that are going through the same struggle, I'm gonna be able to help them on a deeper level. And I felt like that really gave me the motivation I need to get out of my head and just to make it about something bigger than myself. It's about me being able to help a ton of other people when I get out on the other side and I can show people that it's possible and that you can get over it. So Monday night, I was just still feeling really down on myself and just not feeling like myself. And I went to boot camp and I do a strength based boot camp. So we had leg day that day and I hit like PRs on my squat. I was going below parallel and I was squatting 175 for five reps. And I've never like did that weight for reps. For some reason I keep hitting PRs and stuff every week, but I'm just not like in the mindset. I feel like I'm just like going through the motions and I was just like, oh, cool, I got a PR and usually I would be like super stoked about it. And for some reason I was having a lot of anxiety before this session about training and that never usually happens to me. So it was kind of weird that these past few weeks I've been feeling this sort of like anxiety about going to the gym. One of the trainers told me that my squat form was really good and that he was really impressed and that made me feel really good. But then when he asked me, he was like, what are your goals right now? And it kind of hit me why I've been feeling this way in the gym. And that's because I didn't really know what to respond to that question. I didn't really have a particular goal in mind and I'm a very goal oriented person. And I feel like when I don't have a goal I'm like trying to smash, I just feel kind of lost. And in that moment I kind of realized I want to train to be stronger and like have more power and stuff. So right now I just want to focus on being really athletic and I think that'll help me like focusing on what my body can do instead of what my body looks like. 
So Monday I went from like school to boot camp and then I went to help my friend train at her gym. So I think like really helping other people with stuff is what truly makes me happy. So I want to be a personal trainer so I'm like helping her with her training and in turn it's really helping me too to like increase my knowledge and like practice with like clients and stuff like that but, but honestly I'm doing it to help her because she's my best friend and I really like seeing her succeed and feeling good about herself. So a big thing I realized this week is I can treat myself as long as it's not in the house. So if I'm going out to eat or something I can order whatever I want and feel good and satisfied but if I have like bulk of like a certain treat that I like in the house I'm gonna binge on it like I know that like I'm gonna use my willpower and like try not to but eventually it's gonna lead to a binge and I don't want to set myself up for failure like that so I rather like be it a treat when I go out or something. So Tuesday I also had school and after that I just went early to the gym and decided I was gonna do some cardio and I want to do more cardio just to like feel good and so I was still feeling like really down like Tuesday and after that cardio session I don't know it's probably like the endorphins or whatever but I felt like super good so now I'm moving on to Wednesday Wednesday I was just like super stressed out about school like I was just feeling really anxious and like knots in my stomach my digestion was messed up because that really happens to me when I get stressed and so we had a class and it was all about like our oral presentation at the end of the year and like follow-up case studies that we have to do and like I just realized like how much work I have to do and in so little time and it just feels really overwhelming to me at the moment but and I was freaking out about it and my boyfriend like brought me back to my feet and to reality and made me realize that like it's not worth stressing about like I was telling him how I was so overwhelmed and stressed out and stuff and he told me like I can only like do one thing at a time so just like don't worry like about like the exam and like two months from now just focus on what you can do now and he was also telling me that it's normal to get stressed but that we can learn to control it in certain ways and I also told him how like presentations and just exams and stuff always gave me anxiety and she said it wasn't worth stressing out over because that I always like end up doing good anyways because I always stress out about these things but I end up doing really well and I told him that compared to the tests in class those are like really easy compared to our final exam and that I didn't know for sure that I was gonna have a good mark or whatever and then he told me he's like exactly you don't know so why stress about it and I was like yeah I guess you're right <laughs> so that night at boot camp we were doing chess so I worked on my bench press and I was really happy because I felt really strong on that like before I could do like 95 for like three reps maybe struggling and now I could like crank out easily six reps and I just felt like I really progressed on that and it's usually hard to increase my bench press so I was really happy with that and we were doing like a superset it was like um chest press with like dumbbells and then we were doing like push-ups after and I literally did like one push-up and I like flopped onto the floor and I just learned to like laugh at myself and like not care about like what everybody else was thinking but just like laugh at myself and be like okay I suck but like you know I can just get better from there. I was also a new guy at our boot camp and I felt kind of intimidated because he just showed up and kind of showed us up me and the other guy that usually do the boot camp and I felt like he was judging me and then I took a step back and I realized is it really him that's judging me or am I judging myself and I felt like I was kind of judging myself for like not being as strong as I want to be I feel like it was just getting myself out of my comfort zone because I'm usually like the strongest one at the boot camp and he just showed us up and I was like oh like I feel so weak now but it's not about comparing yourselves to others you have to realize that you have your own struggles and your own like wins and stuff and regardless of where he's at like I am at a different point and I did a lot of progress from that point and I should be proud of myself and I am proud of myself. 
A few weeks ago, I decided I was going to start getting up early because I realized I was really productive in the morning and it just made me feel really productive overall for the day and set my intentions for the day. But I kind of fell off track with that, so I'm determined to get back on track. I just really like having my morning like still and like calm and just taking time for myself and setting my intentions for the day. And I feel like another thing is like I don't really wear makeup anymore. Like I've grown to be so comfortable that I never wear makeup, at least face makeup, because I'm trying to like clear my skin and makeup and foundation. I just don't like the feel of it on my face and it also makes me break out. So I just rather not put it on. But I do like to like fill out my eyebrows and like put a little bit of concealer. Yeah, and like I feel like at school I was just like wearing sweatpants and like not like putting myself together and I just didn't feel good about myself. And just like putting like a nice outfit on and just like putting a little bit of concealer and stuff like it's amazing the difference it can do about how you feel about yourself and it's not ne necessarily that you look 10 times better but it's just that you feel better and more confident in your skin. So I'm just working on like doing what works for me and for me like it's like embracing that I'm a morning person so that if I wake up early I'm gonna have a good day and I'm gonna feel productive and stuff so I'm embracing that and trying to work with that and embracing that I have more mobility and flexibility so that really helps me in my lifts and using that because I feel like I was never using that to my advantage before like I did have the flexibility and stuff and control but I just like wasn't going lower I just like stopped at parallel in my squats and stuff and like wouldn't really challenge myself that way and just trying to do more things that I like and that I'm good at and stuff like I love to help others and just helping my friend train is just really fun for me and stuff like that. So tomorrow is Friday, I'm excited, I've had a long week of school and stuff and so tomorrow morning I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna do a leg circuit so I'm probably gonna film that for you guys. I hope you guys had a really good week. Please comment your favorite part of your week down below actually. I'd love to read your comments and yeah please comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye guys!